So I went ahead and sewed my tank the same way I did in the other video. I just wanted to show you um, how to do the single fold um, binding. Um, this one is different than the one I have been doing in that um, we are putting it right sides together on the front and then wrapping it around to the back. And the difference and the reason that some people really like this method more is because your binding itself will be a thinner because you aren't, when you wrap it around to the back, you aren't folding it under when you wrap it. You're just doing that one layer, right? One layer. So on this method, um, you're going to go ahead and sew your bindings short ends together. And I'm going to do the back first. So I'm going to go all along this neckline. I'm going to have it, I have it quartered and I'm gonna match up these quarter points and sew it right sides together, just one layer like this. And then I will show you how to wrap it around. Okay, so I have attached my binding to the right side um, of my top and this is what the right side looks like. This is what the inside, the wrong side looks like. And the reason that this method is so much quicker for me and probably for everyone else is that now I really don't need to use a ton of pins or clips. All I do is flip it on the inside and then top stitch down. But that means that my inside is just gonna have this raw edge and it's gonna have a lot because there's ex excess right here. So we're gonna have to go back with scissors and trim everything off that is extra. Um, one thing I've done before is surge this edge so that there is a clean edge on the inside, but it's really kind of hard to guess how much you need to surge. Um, and then you also run the risk of it not being even. So, I mean, I, I didn't really like the way that that looked. So I'm going to go to the machine and all I'm doing is top, stop, top stitching it down, um, with one layer on the back. I'm not folding the back under and doing all that clipping and pinning like I did on the other. I'm just doing one fold like that on the back. And then I'll show you what it looks like whenever I'm finished top stitching that down. Okay, so now I'm at the machine um, and I'm going to be top stitching it down. So I'll be top, I'll just fold it straight under like this and then I'll be top stitching. I start on the back. Um, that's just by habit, you can start anywhere. And I just fold it down once and I don't do all the pins and clips and all that. So I just fold it as I go. Okay, I finished the binding and I, I just wanted to show you, I just did the neckline, so I wanted to stop and show you what it looks like. So um, this is my right side. I guess my stitching's okay. And here is my wrong side. So at this point I have all this to trim off and it makes me so nervous because I'm nervous that I will cut my shirt. And it, as you can see, like this is really um, some, the fabric is, it curls up a lot. So I have to do a good job of trimming it close to that seam, but then I don't wanna snip anything besides just the excess fabric. So let's do that and you can tell me what you think it looks like and which kind of binding you like the best. Okay, so I finished the neckline going around and trimming it, and I time-lapsed it, so it looks like I was super fast, but I wasn't. I was really, really slow, and I went around it twice to make sure that I got everything, and I'm still not sure. So this is what my inside looks like now. And is this how, yeah, like for everyone who does do single fold, I guess that's how it's gonna look whenever you're doing with the twin needle. So I don't know that it was any faster for me because of how long it took for me to go back and make sure I wasn't clipping. And then in the long run, I do have this raw edge that's not completely overcasted. If I overcasted it, then I would be sewing um, even closer, like my twin needle stitching would have to be really close to this edge. 
Um, so anyways, I'm not, I'm, the jury's still out in my opinion, whether I like the single fold or, or the double fold, I tend to gravitate towards the double fold, but I'll also show you all the tanks and the finishing that I've done in these videos. And you can be the judge for what you think looks the best and what you like to wear. So now I'm going to um, do my armholes and him, and then I'm done with this tank. And I hope that you're enjoying the sew along.